Here's a challenge for you. I want you to make these balloons touch right in the center, but you can't touch the balloons and you can't touch the string and you only have a straw to help you. How would you do it? Today, we are learning the answer to this and so much more with my balloon smooch experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab some balloons because things are about to get romantic. Parents and adults, this is a great simple experiment for little kids to teach them the power of air. So for this one, what you need is a couple of balloons, some string, any string will do. I have nylon string, but really any type of craft string will work. Some tape and scissors, balloons, and some straws. So the first thing you wanna do is blow up two balloons, and then you wanna tie it off with some string, just like so. We want them to be freely hanging about a foot apart. You could do this with a shower bar, or you can do it from a door frame or a high table, whatever you have in your house you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and tape mine about one foot apart. And that distance may change depending on how big your balloons are. If they're bigger, you may wanna move yours a little bit farther apart. And you want them to be at the exact same height. First, try this. Let's blow on the outside of this balloon. What do you think will happen? Do you think that air will push it towards the center? Or do you think it'll move it this way? Let's try that. One, two, three. Did you see that? It moved this way. So now what do you think will happen if I do it right in the center of these two balloons? Let's try it out. Three, two, one. Did you see? They smooched right in the center there. Why did that happen? If I'm moving air into this little tunnel between the balloons, why did that make the balloons go this way instead of this way? We added more air to the center, right? Well, this is because of Bernoulli's principle. Fast moving air lowers the air pressure. And so when we blew air through our straw, we created a stream of fast moving air right between the balloons and that created an area of low pressure, allowing the greater atmospheric air pressure to push our balloons right towards the center to smooch. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Just like that. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for making two balloons smooch with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science